Hello everyone, our today's demonstration is on experiment number 8, where we will determine the parameters of three-phase synchronous generators. The objectives of our today's experiment are to read and understand the nameplate data of the DC multifunction motor and AC multifunction machine, to run the multifunction AC machine as synchronous generator, then to get the open circuit and short circuit characteristics of the synchronous generator. Finally, to determine the synchronous impedance, synchronous reactance and armature resistance of the synchronous generator. Now, let us see the major components of our today's experiment. As you can see from the figure, in the right side we have a synchronous generator, which is basically a C multifunction machine. In the left side we have the prime mover, which is basically DC multifunction machine. And in between we have a coupling device to connect these two machines together, as well as we have a TECU generator to measure the speed of the rotors of these two machines. As you can see, this is the zoomed image of the front panel of our synchronous generator. Let's see how to read machine nameplate data. Here is our DC multifunction machine, and at the top of this machine there is a sticker. On the sticker you will see some numbers. These numbers are the nameplate data of our DC multifunction machine. Similarly, we can read the nameplate data of our AC multifunction machine. This table shows the recorded nameplate data for our DC and AC multifunction machines. In our today's experiment, we have two parts. In the first part, we will study the open circuit characteristics of synchronous generator. Here is the open circuit test connection. As you can see, in the right side, we have the connection for synchronous generator. And in the left side, we have the connection for DC shunt motor. And from the circuit, as you can see, the terminal U1, V1 of the synchronous generator are connected to a voltmeter, whereas the terminal W1 is not connected to anything. So there will be no armature current flowing from the synchronous generator. However, to see the voltage buildup, we have to vary the field excitation, which should not exceed 4 ampere. In case of speed variation, we have to keep it constant to 1800 rpm by varying the field rheostat of the motor connection. In part B, we will study the short circuit characteristics of synchronous generator. As you can see from the circuit diagram, the terminal V1, W1 of the synchronous generator are shorted, whereas other two terminals are connected to an emitter. Uh, so, the armature current will not be zero like the case of open circuit test. Therefore, for the short circuit test, we have to keep in mind three things. Number one, the field excitation should not exceed 4 ampere, the armature current should not exceed 2 ampere, as well as the motor speed should be kept constant to 1800 rpm. Bismillah, uh, Our experiment today is uh, synchronous, about synchronous generator. This is the synchronous generator, experiment number eight. And in this experiment, we need to uh, determine the equivalent circuit parameters of the synchronous generators. We have uh, two parameters of synchronous generator equivalent circuit, as you know, uh, armature resistance and the synchronous reactance, or uh, uh, we can combine them in synchronous impedance. So as we uh, have done in the uh, covalent circuit of the transformer, we will carry out uh, two tests, which is open circuit test and short circuit test. In addition to this here for synchronous generator, we also carry out a DC test to measure the armature resistance. So uh, this synchronous generator, as you know, is widely used in uh, real life. Uh, you can have a uh, very wide range of uh, ratings of the synchronous generators. In power plants, you can have synchronous generator or uh, like 800 megavolt ampere output. And uh, you can have, of course, smaller uh, size and uh, I mean diesel generator or one mega, two mega and, uh, and so on. So uh, as you see here, this synchronous generator is connected to the uh, DC motor in order to drive it, in order to you know have the mechanical bar input, and also we have field winding, uh, DC field winding in order to have the uh, energy conversion to the output bar, which is electrical 
our power. Uh, for this machine, you have about uh, 0.8 kilowatt, and uh, you have uh, 1800 RPM, so you can have these, if it is four bool, so you can have the uh, uh, frequency equal to uh, 60 hertz here. The armature of this, one, of this machine is uh, three phase uh, uh, winding, U1, U2, this is phase A, phase B, and phase C, and you have here the field winding in, in, the, in the rotor circuit, so you have the field winding here. So uh, in order to connect this as, uh, as Y connection, you have combined the three points in neutral point together, or you can connect them as delta, so you can have U1, V2, and V1, W2, and W1, U2. So you can connect them, uh, connect the uh, generator as Y or delta. The line voltage, of course, will be uh, like 400 volt for Y connected, or 230 for delta connected, as you can see here in the uh, uh, nameplate uh, of, the, of the machine. Uh, to drive the generator, we need the motor, or in real life, this would be like a gas turbine or steam turbine to drive the synchronous generator. And of course, we have covered the DC shunt uh, mach machine uh, last uh, experiment, experiment number number seven, DC shunt motor. So uh, what we will do here. Uh, we will carry out the open circuit test at the beginning. We will keep the winding here of the, uh, of the, of the machine open and we connect the voltmeter between U2 and V2 through the KC in order to get the output circuit voltage, open circuit voltage. And uh, in the second part of the, uh, of the uh, experiment, we carry out the short circuit test, which is simply you short circuit the winding here and you in, in between you put an ammeter or you can measure this current through the KC and isolation amplifier as you uh, familiar in the previous experiments. So uh, what we will do for open circuit test, we will uh, measure induced voltage, open circuit voltage versus the field current and short circuit test we will uh, measure the armature current or short circuit current versus IF. And uh, you know, uh, through the, uh, the uh, theoretical part of the classes, and you can have at a certain value of the field current, you can divide E over IA to get the synchronous impedance. And uh, in order to isolate this or to calculate the, uh, the uh, synchronous reactance, we do measure DC test. DC test, we apply just DC voltage here and measure the current and we divide, we get the total impedance or total resistance, sorry, total resistance, which is two times the phase resistance. And you can divide VDC over IDC over two to get the armature resistance. So if you have the armature resistance, you can get synchronous, uh, synchronous reactance as described in the, in the uh, manual. So uh, this is the experiment. After making the circuit connections, we will do the required measurements in KC software. The part C of this experiment is DC resistance test. And from this DC resistance, we can calculate armature resistance of the synchronous generator. From the recorded measurement, you will be having a similar graph where you have a linear region as well as you have a saturated region. Now, if you draw a straight line in the linear region, if you take the corresponding voltage and current values and plug them in this equation, you get the synchronous impedance. From the synchronous impedance and armature resistance, you can have synchronous reactance. Similarly, you can have these parameters in the saturated region as well.